Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawton and from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to add fall colors to our autumn photos. But first, please check out our sponsor, YM Camera, for all of your photography needs. And if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe, leave a comment, and share with your photographer friends. It helps us to produce more videos. These are the photos we are going to be looking at today. They were shot in different conditions, different lighting situations, and there's a few things that I wanna show you. I wanna demonstrate first all of the autumn presets that we have available at the Flourish Academy. We also have adjustment brush presets, but in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create your own adjustment brush preset so that you can brush on fall colors wherever you would like in your photo. So the first thing I'm going to do is jump to the develop module and I wanna show you what these look like. So I'm going to create a series of virtual copies by pressing command apostrophe several times on my keyboard so that I can show you what these look like. So here we have the original photo and I'm going to add the autumn one preset to this first one. Next, the autumn two, followed of course by autumn three and finally, autumn four. Oh, wait, I actually created this other one called autumn CC is for camera club. So I included that as well, but I want to show you what these look like. So here's the original photo. And then we have the first preset, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one. Now you'll notice they obviously approach the color a little bit differently, but occasionally when we apply these presets, we have to alter the temperature and tint to make sure that the skin tone looks good. For instance, in this photo, the skin tone is just way too orange and probably magenta. So we would wanna play around with that in order to make it look a little bit better. And in this final one, I think it's a little bit blue. So I would probably pull up on the temperature and the tint and add a little bit of magenta to that. I see it's slightly overexposed. So I would bring that down then I can look at the before and after. My point is that these presets are not to, meant to be one click and done. You still have to alter them a little bit to make sure that they match your photo. Okay, let's take a look at this photo. And you can hover over your presets to see what they would look like before you apply them. Actually, autumn three looks really good on this one. Oh, even autumn four and the CC. I mean, that's just, really is personal preference. So I don't feel like there was anything else I would do to this photo except maybe adjust the exposure a little bit. But let's take a look at this one that was shot really much later in the evening than probably it should have been. She is very magenta and I am concerned, rightfully so, that if I apply one of these presets, it's just going to take everything a little bit too far and her skin isn't going to look good. So I think what I'm going to do for this image is start with Susie's favorite preset, which is also available at the Flourish Academy. But let's take a look at the before and after. I'm going to add a little bit more light. She's way magenta. So I'm going to pull down on the tint, not that far until I feel like it looks good and I'm gonna warm it up a little bit. Again, I'm just looking at her skin tone, but I would like to add some fall colors to this background. The, the leaves were starting to change, but they weren't quite there yet. Here's the before and after just with those corrections. I'm going to press K on my keyboard in order to access the adjustment brush. Now, if you pick up these presets from the FA, there are three brush presets. Let me show those to you really quickly and then we'll create our own. I'm going to make sure my flow is up at 100 and this is called warm maple. So you could brush that wherever you would like. This next one is called pumpkin spice. It's a little bit different in terms of its tone. And then finally we have misty yellow, which by the way, you can combine these brushes. Now, 
all right, obviously I've put them on very strong, but you can pull down on the flow and build up these adjustments and even combine them to make the best possible fall iteration, however you'd like that to look. I'm going to just delete these adjustments really quickly because I wanna teach you how to create one of these brushes, specifically the warm maple brush. So all I did was I decreased the highlights, increased the shadows, pulled down on the blacks, and then I selected a color that I like. And it's just this, <laughs> I called it warm maple because I like this color. And then I'm going to pull down on the flow pretty significantly. That way I can just start to brush this in where I would like it and build up that color. So obviously it looks much more natural than what it did just a moment ago. And check this out. If we turn this adjustment off and then back on, you can already notice a pretty significant difference. You could even brush that a little bit into the foreground and then build it up as much as you would like. When you have been playing around with these different colors and you get a color that you like, in order to save that brush preset, you would simply click at the top and then scroll all the way to the bottom and choose save current settings as a new preset. And you could name this whatever you would like, autumn brush, etc. And then you could brush it on your photos anywhere you would like. I'm going to click new to add a new brush to show you how to build these up. And next I'm going to grab the pumpkin spice brush and I have my flow still set pretty low because then I can start brushing a little bit more over in these areas and really change the way this photo looks. So if you would like to pick up these presets, the link is below for all of the develop presets as well as the adjustment presets. But I did wanna show you how to create your own. Let's look at a few more photos. I'm going to press K on my keyboard in order to drop the adjustment brush. And let's go to this one, which had beautiful light in the background. But again, I don't know if selecting, well, the autumn one is just not gonna work. It's just way over the top. Autumn two looks a little bit better, but now she looks blue, so there would need to be some adjustments. Autumn three is the same, it's pretty strong and autumn four actually looks really good. So maybe I'll start with autumn four and then just drop the temperature a little bit in order to make that a little more balanced with her skin tone. And I've pulled that down so I can look at the overall before and after, but if you still think that that's a little bit too much, you know what, I'm curious, what does the autumn camera club look like. Okay, no, she's way too <laughs> blue now. So what I'm going to do is come back into my history palette and just click import. And then I'm gonna choose Susie's favorite preset. And that looks great. Maybe needs a little bit of magenta. And then K on the keyboard in order to access my adjustment brush. And I'm gonna make my brush really big with the right bracket key. And I'm just gonna start brushing this pumpkin spice over the background areas I wanna just warm up a minute, areas I just wanna warm up a bit, and then click new and add the warm maple and brush that over. I really like this warm maple color. I think it looks so pretty. And then if I turn that adjustment off and then back on, you can see what it's done to the background. You could make this brush smaller, get in closer to her, obviously do whatever you would like to improve the background. Let's see if we have any other more interesting photos. Okay, we have this one I really like of her in that willow tree. So I'm just gonna hover my mouse over these different presets and I think I like autumn three, but with a little bit more warmth. So I'll pull up on the temperature. Again, I am demonstrating this on several different images so that you can see you probably need to make some adjustments when using the presets, whether you use the develop preset or just the adjustment preset. I think I like autumn two on this one because I like what it did to the background but she is way too blue, so we'll just warm her up. She's maybe a little bit magenta, and we can take a look at the before and after, and again, you can make as many adjustments as necessary to the basic panel or maybe in even the tone curve to improve the overall tonality based on your particular editing style. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.